Hey, welcome back to Delectable You. As promised, today we are making vegan, gluten-free pumpkin pie, just in time for Thanksgiving. So last time we made some vegan, gluten-free pie dough. So if you made that and you have some in the freezer, go ahead and thaw that out and we're gonna use it today or you can make a fresh batch because it only takes about a minute, maybe two. So you're going to actually roll out your pie crust on top of a piece of parchment paper because the dough can get a little finicky and it can fall apart a little bit. So the parchment paper will help to keep it all together. So come on over here and let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm just kind of using my fingers to roll stuff out and now I'm going to use a rolling pin. And if you find that the dough starts to stick to the rolling pin, like this is sort of starting to do, just grab yourself some brown rice flour or other gluten-free flour and just, just rub the top of it a little bit. So you're gonna roll this out for a nine inch pie dish. So you can use a dish or you can use a foil pan, it doesn't matter whatever you have on hand, but just roll it out so that all of the uh, dish gets covered with the pie dough. Okay, so take a cutting board or some flat, something flat, and put it, slide it underneath the parchment paper. Okay, now grab your pie dish, put it upside down on here, and then let's flip this. Nice and easy, and just peel the pie crust off. If it sticks, no worries. You can just use your fingers to put it back together. So as you can see, some of it stuck to my parchment paper, so I'm just patching up the holes. So you can do the same thing. Just patch up the holes with your fingers until everything is covered, until the whole plate is covered. Okay, our pie has been patched up. Hello, pie, you look so pretty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 375. And while that's preheating, we're going to chill this in the fridge for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna bake it and move on to making our pie filling. Okay, so while our pie dough chills in the fridge, we are gonna make our pumpkin pie filling. So grab yourself a saucepan and you're gonna turn the heat up to about medium and you're gonna put a cup of almond milk and three tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're gonna whisk this all together until the lumps are out. All right, so let's get the lumps out. So cornstarch is a thickener. This is what's gonna give the pie its stability so that it's not just a soupy pumpkin pie. It actually has some structure. Okay, now that the lumps are out, you're gonna grab some maple syrup, a quarter of a cup to be exact, and we're gonna dump this in here. Now what we wanna do is bring this to somewhat of a simmer and continuously whisk it until it gets nice and thick. So you're gonna be standing at the oven for uh, probably about two to five minutes depending on how hot your element is. All right, you see how fast this happens? Look at that thickening up. It's getting to exactly the consistency we want. Oh. Perfect, so a little bit more. And then we're gonna turn the heat off and pull this off the heat and add our pumpkin and our spices. All right, now whisk in your pumpkin. So we've got a cup of pumpkin puree, a tablespoon of coconut oil, a teaspoon of vanilla, a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. Let's do a quarter of a teaspoon of salt just to bring out the flavor. And whisk this all together. All right, this looks nice and combined. So what we wanna do is just bring this to room temperature. And so what we'll do is set it aside and let's bake our pie shell. Okay, so I've got my pie shell from the fridge and I'm just gonna poke a few 
little hose with a fork in the bottom, just like that, just because I don't want any air bubbles to come up. Um, if you don't poke holes in them, sometimes you'll get like a bloop bubble, which is fine, but not exactly what we're going for. So put your pie in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. We're not totally baking it, we're kind of par baking it. Um, so 10 to 15 minutes should do it. Okay, so pull the pie crust out of the oven and you're also going to decrease the oven temperature from 375 to 350. Now let's take our pumpkin pie filling and pour it into the pie shell and just distribute it so that it's nice and even. And we're going to bake this for five to 10 minutes until essentially the pie is set. So it jiggles kind of like jello. Okay, we have pumpkin pie. Oh yes, look at that. See how it jiggles like jello? That is set. So there you have it. Your vegan gluten-free Thanksgiving has been made, yay. So make this pie for Thanksgiving. Enjoy it as much as I do. And I will meet you here again next time. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Lauren with Delectable You. Happy Thanksgiving.